Hey guys, thanks for watching the replay. I am in my car and I am going to tell you about my worst day ever in network marketing. Thank you for joining. Sitting in my car, I'm gonna let a few more people hop on before I get started. Hi guys, say hello. Tell me where you're, where you're joining from. Hey Kelly, thank you, thank you. It's a car scope or Jeep scope today. Hey Kelly, thank you for joining. So today I'm going to tell you about my worst day ever in network marketing. You might want to share this. If you're in network marketing, share this with your teams because um, if you could swipe left or right on an iOS or swipe down and hit the share button because I guarantee you this is going to be something that your teams will want to hear. It's going to be good. Thank you for joining, guys. Going to talk about my worst day ever in network marketing and what I did about it. Thank you for the hearts. Okay, so let's just jump right in. Thank you for sharing, Kelly. I appreciate it. Okay, so my worst day ever in network marketing was not today. <laughs> Let me start by telling you that. It was not today. It was reminded, I was reminded of it today, um, but it was not today. My worst day ever in network marketing was around January 20th of 2015. Um, it was at that time I had been actively pursuing my network marketing business for um, about seven months at that time. And I was making around $500 a month in my business. And um, I was working part-time as a registered nurse and I was extremely burned out. And our hospital was actually moving and in February, middle of February. And... I just decided that I could not make the move and um, I sat down with my husband in our bedroom, closed the door, get away from the kids and told him that I did not want to continue um, being a nurse and that I was going to go ahead and turn in my resignation and that um, I was going to pursue the, my Young Living business full time. And he... Um, it was a very horrible conversation, not at all the way I expected it to go. Um, he basically came up to me, grabbed me by the face, and said, Liz, you are depressed. You are very depressed, and this is delusional. This is not going to happen. No one makes money in these things. It's not going to happen. He said, so I understand if you don't want to be a nurse anymore and that you're burned out, but we need to be realistic here and why don't you take a month or two off and then we can talk about a plan B. Maybe you going to real estate school or doing something else altogether, but this is not, this is not acceptable. It's delusional. And... I just started bawling. I started weeping. I started bawling. And I felt like a ton of bricks had just been like emptied over my entire body. And in that second, I felt completely alone. Completely alone. I knew that I wasn't delusional. I was excited about it. I believed in the process. I, I, I knew that it could happen. And I made a decision at that second. We did not even have, I just started crying, but I did not beg him. I did not plead with him. I did not talk to him about it. I just said right then and there, this is up to me. And I got really mad. I spent one second being upset and I spent the next three months being pissed. And I said, I'm going to prove him wrong. I am going to prove him wrong. And from, and I had my very biggest paycheck in January from the 20th to the end of the month. It, it doubled my paycheck doubled and it just kept going up and up and up and up. And, um, for those of you who are on my team, you know that I bought my dream car in December. I'm sitting in my, my Jeep right now. I've wanted a Jeep since I was 15 years old. 
I'm 42 and I bought my dream car in, um, in December. Thanks to my um, network marketing delusional, this is not going to happen. Nobody ever makes money in this business paycheck. So the point of this scope that turn a negative into a positive, make it fuel you. Don't get, don't get under it. Make it, let it piss you off. Let it fire you up. Use it as a motivation. Write that name of the person who took you down. Write the name of whatever it is that, you know, if, if, if you can't pay your bills and it makes you upset, get mad about it. Right. Never again will I not be able to pay my bills. Or write my husband's name. I'm like, I will prove him wrong. And I have proven him wrong. You know, he's not 100% supportive, but he sure likes my paychecks. And I haven't had to go back to work as a nurse. And I didn't have to go get my real estate license. <laughs> so, anyway, very, very, very bad day. In fact, one day, I think that I really probably want to put a booklet together about how to build a network marketing business without the support of your spouse because I had zero sp support for him for over a year and a half. Now I have a probably about a 25% support from him. <laughs> but um, I, for a year and a half, I built my business with, with sabotage, not support from him. I mean, like literally if he knew that I was on a conference call, he would make noise in the house. He would get mad if I didn't, you know, have dinner ready because I was on a call or something. He was very, very hateful and very um, hurtful to me during building. But um, I knew that I could do it and um, I was not disrespectful to him during that time. But, um, but I used it as fuel to make it happen. So anyway... Um, I hope you enjoyed the scope and I hope it blessed you to know that you can turn a very, very negative, painful situation into your fuel to get you to your goal because that's exactly what I did. So anyway, I guess that's it. Does anybody have any questions? I'm not seeing any um, comments, so I'm hoping that this didn't like cut off or something. But anyway, just wanted to tell you guys about my worst day, so... Thanks for watching. Any questions or anything? You can do it. Oh, thank you, Holly. It was... I just felt like I needed to tell everybody about that. So Some of you guys on my team knew a little bit about it, but I don't think I've ever shared that exact story to you guys. That is so amazing. Most of my leaders, um, the leaders that I, um, on my cross line leaders and my upline leaders, most of them, their husbands are extremely supportive. And that's something that I was really jealous of. But like I said, it, it, it did work to my advantage because I'm extremely competitive. I'm a red, if you know the color, color, um, uh, personality colors. Um, so I, I just used that as a, uh, positive instead of a negative, but, and now I've heard from so many, um, people who are trying to build a network marketing business that, um, don't have support from, from their spouses. So I can provide that, um, empathy and say, you know, um, it's one thing to not have support, but you still have to be respectful. And, um, I, I, I do need to say that at that time, I, the only thing I did say to him is I said, will you please just give me six months? If this costs our family money during the meantime, I will go get a part-time job doing something else. I did say that. So I did make sure that he was in agreement. Maybe not, and not, he wasn't supporting it, but he did agree to let me give it a shot for six more months. And it didn't take six months. It only took a few weeks because, like I said, my paycheck doubled at that time. So um, it, it replaced my part-time nursing income that very month. So that was pretty awesome. So I'm, I'm, I'm very happy for those of you that have support from your spouse, but um, you could do it either way. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching, and please share this with your teams if you found it inspirational. If you um, 
if you want to learn more about me, you can find out. You can go to my website, oilyarmy.com. I'm also on Facebook at Oily Army. I'm also on YouTube at Oily Army. All right, guys. I guess that's it. Booklet soon, please. No support. Booklet soon. Okay. Yeah, I think I, I do need to probably put something together. I'm still, um, you know, I haven't met all of my goals yet, but I definitely have, have kind of, I'm at the top of the hill, about to go over the hill. So, um I, I, and, and I and I am on the upswing when it goes to having his support. So I think it's probably something I need to start now. I, I wouldn't be quite ready, I think, to finish a book on that, but I could definitely could could start it. Definitely. I, I, thank you for that encouragement. I will go ahead and get started on that. I will do that. I'll, it's on my to do list. All right, guys. Have a great weekend. It's Thursday. It's a beautiful day here in Texas, and um, go outside, have some fun. So. That's awesome. That's awesome to have a great supportive husband. Okay. All right, guys. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye.